What's up, y'all? I believe it might be stream times at 10 Fay High. Let's see here, lads and lasses. See if I can get this shit set up correctly. So we can all chat it up and be good friends. Hopefully one of y'all brought a bowl of good friend cereal. So let me know how I sound, because I'm always paranoid about it. I've did some test recordings. Hopefully I sound just between good looking and handsome. It's the range I'm going for. All right, T gave me his official approval that I sound handsome. Let's play a Resident Evil. <clears throat> I figured for a change of pace, we'll play Resident Evil on my channel. Not really a series I dabble in very often. I got to figure out, uh, apparently you can play the RE2 demo longer if you know how to do things on the internet. If you know, If you're a Russian bot... Miles, don't worry. I realize I recorded another episode of uh, Symphony Night Drops only, and I realized in that episode that it's a uh, a separate thing. So you're good. <laughs> so one poor guy, God bless his heart, had to come into my Discord server because of the whole Holy Sword Heavenly Sword mix up. He was like, he turned, he was Doc Brown watching my stream. And I was like, hey, if you get two Holy Swords, you can do a special attack. And he was like, great Scott. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the International Corporation Umbrella. Claire Spoilers. Oh, David Duchovny giving me that smug look. Y'all have noticed... I've put cool guy things on my stream, so there's a view counter in the corner, so we can all watch the mystery viewers come in and leave. And look, there's a little thing when you all follow me and give me money. Don't you want to be there? Don't you want to be like Tim, Dustin, and Widges69 and get to be on the cool guy, the cool guy list? And then in the bottom right corner, there might be a certain, a certain rat lady waiting for somebody to do something so she can pop up and make everything great. Make Tenfei great again. All right. Your identification number is WKD4490. I like how that's Claire's well, outfit she decided to uh, infiltrate Umbrella with. Also, why take the black Red bag off of her head we just to uh, <laughs> hit her in the head with a rifle butt? She apparently it seems the Geneva Convention is probably be calling it. Son, Hozier. Hozier boy's gonna tell him. Man, this game is really ugly. <laughs> it's the first, like, fully 3D environment at Resident Evil. I just don't much care for it. I want the next Resident Evil to be made by the Octopath Traveler team. That's the graphics I want. Also, I love that Umbrella's own defense force kills more of their soldiers than Claire. What was her plan? To run in there in her fucking baggy jeans and her cut-off shirt with her handgun that I assume she kept from Raccoon City. I assume that's the browning that she keeps her sentimental reason. She even got the little choker on. Like, I could even accept if she was dressed like she is in Resident Evil 2. But something about that. Well, then again, maybe she was, like, taking the Umbrella factory tour so she wanted to look like a civilian. Like, who the hell knows? And here she does some Matrix. Yeah, that's the browning from fucking Resident Evil 2. Also, the quality of this cutscene. <gasps> I heard Hozier boy telling them, which means about to have good times in the bottom right corner of the screen. Look at that. Not only are you on the cool guy board, Hozier, but Freya's there, ready and rearing and charged with sexual energy. Don't move. Oh, Jesus. I do have to play Resident Evil Gaiden. My former roommate, Matthew, who, as everyone who's familiar with Ten Faith lore knows, is Garrett's older brother. 
was like really into that game for like one weekend and every time i walked in his room he was playing it and like i would just get in a, a daze and stumble out of the room and i'd wake up three hours later laying on the kitchen floor a hundred bits hoser that's like three thousand pesos <laughs> oh we're down to nine viewers i must have had one mystery viewer he was like what the hell is this I looked up Code Veronica on Twitch before I started. There was like five other people doing it. And they were averaging in the, the teens of viewers. Although one guy had like upwards of 50 or 60. Son, Teague, from what I saw when he played that game, you just use the knife because it's just a little mini game. Like, you save all your bullets for the very end of the game. It's like Mega Elixirs. You gotta save them all for the end. Dr. Daddy Macaroni, you're here right at the beginning of the stream, son. I assume there was somebody on an operating table and, like, they were flatlining and you were doing everything you could and then you got the notification that I was streaming and you just dropped them like a sack of taters. I guess we could equip this lighter so we could look at, uh... I think his name is actually Rodriguez. You'd think I was just making that up and being in sentences of ass, but I think that's his actual name. Also, why leave Claire her lighter in, like, this secret little jail? The umbrella, the way the umbrella does things is just, I don't know how they pass OSHA regulations. I assume they kill and or bribe people. They bribe people with death. He had the fanciest bottle of hemostat that is empty. Spoilers. You don't use your knife on the final boss, Teague. That's what you're saving all them bullets for, son. For a rainy day, you gotta be the the ant putting away the bullets for winter. Can you all hear the game, by the way? When I'm not talking, at least, or does the game volume need to be turned up? Like, can you hear the characters? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Just let me know. Here I am. <laughs> this, this is a game. This is Resident Evil Code Veronica summed up right here. Just this image. Good lord. Look at Claire's big fucking waffle stomping feet. Okay. Teague says the game's too low and that he hates me for it and he hopes I die. So I'll turn it up a little bit to right about there. All right. If it gets bad, just let me know, y'all. Also, if my voice starts like peaking and crackling too much, let me know. And I'll pitch the biggest fucking tantrum and run out of the room. Alright. I gotta get used to these weird-ass PS4 controls because... So for this version of the game, square is run and X is interact like usual. But to open my inventory, I have to push the right half of the PS4 controller trackpad. And then on this screen, only square, both X and circle, highlight things. So you have to press square to leave it. So I, I'm probably going to fuck up the inventory a lot. So just be used, ready for it. Son, look at Hoser getting everybody the, the hot tips on how to stream to your boy Tenfei. If I get like 8,000 subscribers, I'll just stream every day. What do you got to say for yourself? Look at him, he's so sad. I'll just take his knife. <laughs> That'll make him happy. I'll cut his fucking gizzard out. Okay. Hopefully Luther watches this stream. Do y'all remember Luther? The super rare uh, uh, expand, Tenfei Expanded Universe character who hung out with me. The last time I ever... No, I've interacted with Luther one time since that fateful evening that we played a little bit of this game. We went to Brian Lee's and Brian cooked like scallops and shrimp on the grill. And it was a certified good time. But that playthrough's probably never getting finished, so we're just going to stream it up. <gasps> I heard something bleep and bloop. Ah, my snore. God bless your heart. Giving me the gift of Freya. So. Maybe if you all donate enough money, Freya will become real and she'll play video games with me for my channel. Do you think my channel would be popular? If the fictional character Freya Crescent from Final Fantasy IX somehow became real and played video games on it. Hoser, 
You oh, every time someone donates to you, you got to donate twice as much. Also, we're going up some spooky stairs. Don't tell nobody. We're up to twelve viewers. Twelve people with enough sense to watch the Dead Face stream. I'd like to have that suitcase right now, but it's on fire. So this is uh, one of the few times you actually have zombies come out of the graveyard in a Resident Evil. Poser is taking over the cool guy board. You've got a, a Mosnar sandwich, Poser. Now, how did they get the T virus in there? I guess they could have, like, been exposed. No, they would have been buried for a while at their state of decomposition. Already, our Ludo narrative dissonance of this game has been shot all the hell. Son, Hoser, you're not. Are you not going to play the Resident Evil 2 remake? From what I played of it so far, I enjoy it. Uh, that's cash money, monster. Burn the hole in the pocket. All right, we don't have a gun yet, but we've got knives, millions of them. All right, let's just run past this asshole. Because they just respawn if you kill them anyway. Plus, I'm sure we'll run into some handsome, charismatic young man who totally doesn't have an annoying voice. He'll give us a gun, or we'll get. There's a gun right there. Even Claire noticed it, and I'd love to have it. If we just stand here forever, though, we never have to talk to Steve. It's almost worth it. <laughs> oh, God. He, he, has there ever been a worse Resident Evil character than Steve? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Now, Hoser's telling me the game sound is too loud, so let's turn it down a little bit. We'll try to find a compromise between Hoser and uh, T. Wait, wait, don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. We're right there. Steve's like, oh boy, a girl. Let me run down there so you can smell my Axe body spray. Uh, Look, I've got cool Hot zombie. Topic bands on my hand. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Claire's such an internet tough guy. Oh shit. Monsnar, living it up. Additional Freya, additional bits. Ah, the hoser sandwich has been reversed. You're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. He does look like Rebecca. Mustachio Johnson. Why'd you have to point that out? Even as a choker collar like her. I'm so upset. So Monsnar is doing everything he can to push Hoser off the board. I like it. I like pitting you all against each other because it gets me money and animated Freya's. Son. <laughs> nah, it's cheating. You can't just use one bit to weasel Hoser off the board. Need some more zeros in there, son. <laughs> Look, Hoser, are you going to put up with this? You should probably like give me like four hundred thousand bits. That'll put him in his place. That'll teach him a thing or two. What kind of gun is this? They didn't. They ran out of metal when they were making this gun, so the barrel is longer than the thing. Actually, it's got that little flip down thing for when it's semi-automatic. I think A. Abria uses the same gun in Parasite Eve too. Here's your Tempe fun fact for today. Okay, let's go beat the game real quick. I don't know this game as good as other Resident Evils. I've only played through it a handful of times. That's why I'm not doing a ridiculous challenge run right now. <gasps> Look at all this. Hoser's going fucking crazy. In a good way. It's like I'm writing a clickbait article. Hoser's going completely crazy in my Twitch chat. And why that's a good thing. Alright, zombies. I don't like you. And you want to bite a chunk out of me. So let's agree to disagree. I need some pots and pans so I can become a pots and pans robot. Okay. We have to go into the shitter. It's where all the good items are. There's nothing good in the shitter.
You did it, Hosier. You got the high score. I ain't reading the prisoner's diary. He'd be like, dear diary. <laughs> Today I caught a mouse and named him Mr. Jingle. Okay, there's a zombie right there. And he's got guns and shit hung all over him. He's the LAPD of zombies. And I want him to have... Careful, because I think there's one coming up behind us, too. So we're going to shoot him enough that he falls down. Grab these guns. There's one crawling on the floor as well. I know a little bit about this game. So let's just get the hell out of here. <gasps> I hear bleeps and bloops. Oh, Maznar blew his fucking whole load. <laughs> now he can't compete with Hozier for my affections. Son, I'm, you're like my step, my, uh, my uh, divorced parents. Trying to buy me enough Christmas bread that says I love you more. Keep it up. All right, we're just going to use these until they're out of ammo so I don't have to carry them around. And that way we save more handgun bullets for when I get the custom handgun. Also, we're going to eat a green herb. Son, Muir's here to make it rain Freya, son. Some years a paladin, he's going to defend me from poverty with a shield made of money. <laughs> that nest of Olgan. Hey guys. So, you with these dual wield guns, Claire can aim at two people at once, or you could focus fire. Look at you hiding around the corner. Fucking Ray Ray ass zombies. I must release the lock. Look at y'all chatting up and being good friends in my Twitch chat. It does my heart good. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. All right. What's metal? Lighters? Guns and shit? The LAPD can never get in this place. I think they ain't ribbon cows too, son. This green herb is all we got. We're down to our last green herb. All right, we're going to use secret advanced tactics of the Final Fantasy variety to get the fuck out of here. All right. We'll leave these grenade rounds because we're not getting the launcher for a while. Uh, so here's our secret metal. Or this tells you about the secret metal. I think we need... We need the fire extinguisher. Oh, we got to go in here and look at Steve's at. No. Claire gets on the computer to check her fucking AOL account and send Leon uh, cute, like, animated gifts of cats. And while she's doing it, Steve just looks directly in the center of her asshole. It's the one time I've ever, like, felt camaraderie with Steve. When he becomes a certified ass man. What are you doing here? Fifteen dollars. I made more in this few minutes of streaming than I ever brother? would working a job ah, for the man. Son, y'all are my bosses now. Y'all get to yell Tenfei my office. Well, y'all are the chief of Tenfei brother. runs. What? You can tell me how the mayor of Tenfei is riding your ass, and I'm being reckless and footloose. I've got to contact Leon and tell him. And how this Tenfei stream is going to be done by the book. I don't want to hear it. Have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? I see Super Thanks. Meat Boy in the stream I'll chat. That. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. Uh, we're already getting into Steve's emotional backstory. He won't come. He's like, families are stupid. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. I'll show them. Believe me, I know. I'm going to skateboard at places where it's not recommended to do so. What was that I'm going to do a real go -gurt.
Not the board of Tenfei. There's too many. There's too much legislation. All right, that lets me get the fire extinguisher. We sent Leon... Okay, yeah, we got to make a copy of this metal. Out of secret, fake metal. I like how they had to bring up Leon. Like, his only mention in the game is she emailed him to get her brother. Because Chris is too cool for an email. Wesker. Wesker tried to set up an email for Chris, and he couldn't get it. And Wesker responded like, I'll just write you memos, God. All right, we want to intentionally trigger... No, wait, that's when, after we make the clone. For now, we can deposit the metal. The reason they take all your guns away here is because zombies are going to bust in eventually. But not until we get the uh, fake metal substance. Out of that briefcase at the very beginning that I wanted to have. Alright, we just need our LAPD cal caliber guns and shit. Also, these guns... Uh, the, the Calico 9000, it was originally going to be Ada's gun in Resident Evil 2. As If you look into the files using a Game Shark, there's a gun that looks like this called the Calico, and apparently it was going to be Ada's gun. There you go, a little Tenfei fun fact. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, the Ring of Varda is being used exclusively for farming purposes, sir. Oh, no zombies. <laughs> Whatever shall I do. I hope they all don't clump around this fucking barrel here so I can just shoot it once and kill a weak fucking barrier. We did it. We're heroes of the storm. Okay, what's in here that we want? Nothing. Oh, wait, the padlock key. I remember such random little bits about this game. If you give me 600,000 bits right now, I'll throw that fucking ring of fart away. <laughs> and suck your dick. Okay, we gotta be chased by dogs before I'm allowed to open this door. Oh no, dogs. I hate dogs in Resident Evil because even when you know they're there, they have perfect fucking frame data. They're fucking vanilla Sagat from Street Fighter 4. God damn it. <laughs> I made myself mad. The he you act like the Heaven Sword's broken. That shit's hard to use. You get your ass kicked using the Heaven Sword in the wrong situation. What do you want me to fucking do? Go through the whole game throwing dildos at enemies? Jesus. Oh, I weren't even paying attention to these damn zombies. I was too busy being indignant about video games. Claire's ass in this game... I mean, she doesn't have much competition in this game as far as her ass goes. But her ass game is nowhere near uh, fucking Jill Valentine. That lady's full spec ass. She didn't try to branch her fucking skill tree or nothing. She just knew what she wants. She knew what she was about. In fact, funny story. Uh, if you use Rebecca's alternate outfit that she gets in Resident Evil Zero and she's wearing, if you use Chris's alternate outfit in the uh, remake of the original, uh, Rebecca's in like a cowgirl outfit. So like cut off blue jeans and a vest. And they use Jill's lower body, like, model on her so her ass would be bigger. Because she graduated fucking college at age 18, but it wasn't due to fucking ass volume. That's for damn sure. So, she must have earned that doctorate or whatever she has because she ain't got no ass to speak of. But enough about that. <laughs> How are y'all doing? We're up to 14 viewers, and you can see it in the corner of the screen. So I was talking to Mosnar about it. I told him 600,000 bits and I'll never use the Ring of Order again. <laughs> so Rebecca's not a bad waifu, son. I, could, I wouldn't disparage a man for having Rebecca as a waifu. Wait. 
I forgot I have secret shortcut powers. I can open a fence that's locked for some reason, even though it doesn't keep anyone out of an area. It just inconveniences people. <laughs> that's how they're hoping that they keep people from breaking in. Is inconvenient. Okay. I've learned from watching a lot of Slice of Life and high school anime, which is most anime, that you can never tell somebody you have a crush on that you have a crush on them. Instead, you have to have humorous misunderstandings. Please deposit any the last thing on earth a girl wants to hear is legitimately expressing your feelings. Everyone knows you're supposed to stumble around like an idiot and fucking accidentally grab their kids. All right, we need to make sure not to forget that fire extinguisher or else we can't get the magnum at the end of the game. And I will throw 100% certified tantrum. All right, now what we do is we trigger these and now when we make the fake emblem, the zombies can't bust in. Son. Checkmate, Miyamoto. All right. Look, there's a little hunk in the corner. And he's warning you. If you double click on it, <laughs> it just a text file loads up that says, I warned you. And when you turn around, Hunk's standing behind you. <laughs> That's true. It's got to be an eagle. I don't think there's a wolf medal anywhere in this game. Looks like the Eagles of the East finally defeated the Wolves of West. And, and they the history is written by the Victor, son. It's like a 3D printer, except it's a 3D lathe. Do you ever use lathe, Sozier? I feel like in your line of work, you would lathe things. I wish I could, cowboy. 468. I wish I could honor your wishes and the 467 cowboys that came before you. Okay. Now we undo this. And the zombies can no longer bust in because we're past the event trigger. Checkmate, zombie atheist. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just going to stand here and spin like an idiot. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> what a perfect bunch of assholes. Okay. I would love to take these objects with me. I want this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. I wouldn't wipe my ass with that shitty ink ribbon. We'll grab it later when we we're desperately needing a safe. Son, three, what are you going to 3D print? What kind of dildo are you going to make? I assume that's how Bad Dragon operates. They've just got one big fucking silicone... Um... 3D printer. And of course, they read the Cimmerillion, because that's how you get authentic dragon dick shapes. I'm pretty sure Tolkien wrote about them in the Cimmerillion. A 3D pin? Look at these assholes standing around like a stack of fucking pancakes. Okay, we get it cleared. There's a hawk on there. When you make the fake version of that to put in there, it's kind of silvery, like the wolf metal. That must be their homage to the wolf metal. To the proud wolves of West that came before them. Down to 13 viewers. One of the mystery viewers just couldn't hack it, son. He couldn't handle it in the, the main streets of Tenfei Town, son. I like how there's this clanky old wooden bridge to drive over. But for walking, there's this reinforced metal bridge. Also, I'd like to think this Jeep got here before the disaster and the place got overrun. Just some Gomer Pile ass fucking umbrella guy <laughs> weren't paying attention. And he was like, oh gosh, the Sarge is going to kill me. Uh -huh. Son, you're using me to grind in Disgaea. How many Neko Matas you got on your team, Teague? Don't say zero. You need it like three different flavors. and Because the Neko Matas, when they level up, they're, they can turn different colors. You can get you a whole fucking gaggle of them, son. 
God damn it, Teak. Why can't you at least lie to me? <laughs> Why can't you tell me sweet lies? I'm gonna run past this zombie. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about nothing with his yellow ass hat on. <sighs> it hurts me. It always hurts me the worst, Teak. I told him. Is there one more dog here? Yes. Got him. <laughs> he never suspected a thing. Okay, we're going to grab this here thing right here. The navy proof. If you have, if you have to return your navy to the store, you need that. Mikhail's navy. Old navy. You got navy beans. Navy blue jeans. 900 Nekomatas. Thank God. You're like Laharl. Your your only weakness is their sexy bodies. Son, you're there looking at Etna and Flown, living it up. Can you get Laharl in two? I know you can fight him. Um, because I watched you fight him. I believe you streamed yourself fighting Laharl once, and I secretly watched it. Or did I imagine that? But you probably can't recruit him, right? He's too arrogant. Oh, that's right. I need the damn steering wheel. I need to find that pirate that walked into the bar and had a steering wheel on his crotch. And when the bartender was like, hey, what's that steer <laughs> What's that wheel for? He said, argh, it drives me nuts. Feel free to like, favorite, subscribe, <laughs> and donate. <laughs> oh, good times. Can you recruit... Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, or Jennifer, or his good man, Thursday the Robot. I feel like at least one of them needs to be in the game. I've always heard people say in Disgaea 1 that Thursday is one of the most broken characters. I never really used him when I played the game. I didn't really use any of the plot characters. I had my team of generics and my Nekomata's son. feel like there ought to be a zombie standing there for me to shoot. So you can get all of Harl's B crew. Can you get Curtis or Prenny Curtis? The secretary note. It's about how Alfred chased her around the desk and tried to grab her ass. You know Alfred wouldn't chase anybody around the desk and try to grab their ass. He's like super fucked up. He's... He's a super pale, blue-eyed, blonde, European aristocrat, which means he exclusively wants to fuck his sister or his mother. No offense to any blue-eyed, blonde-haired European aristocrats watching. Feel free to like, favorite, subscribe. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time. There's no other way to describe it. Okay. I'll take this ink ribbon. Thank you, sir. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. Good lord. <laughs> oh, did somebody... Was there a mystery viewer that left as soon as I told that joke? Because if so, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> and I don't... Re I regret absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Prinny Laharl. How about Uber Prinny Ball? That's a guy, right? I will never open my inventory correctly. You all already know this. NTC 0394. Look at this guy. It's fucking James Dean's ID card. Son, he's a rebel without a cause, and he works at the fucking Umbrella Paris facility. All right, you all remember that number. Somebody type it in the stream chat. So when I go to type it in that computer, I don't forget it. SpongeBob's going to appear and be like, don't forget it. Uh, beg pardon by the way I'd like to add that at the end you can burp as much as you want as long as you say beg pardon after one that's what John Cleese taught me okay All right. that's a hell of an inventory we got right there 
God damn it, Hosier. Tell you what, Hosier, why don't you donate the amount of bits that the number on the card was, and that way we don't forget it. Oh, uh, good, good Lord. I'm going to have so much fun trying to trick money out of y'all. Y'all, now that I have a, uh actual Twitch account where I'm allowed to make money, I've become Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And y'all are the neighborhood kids. Call it right now. As quick as y'all can, which Ed, Ed, and Eddie kid you want to be. You can't be any of the Eds because you're, they're my accomplices in getting money. All right, y'all. This is it. Time for Twitch Plays Code Veronica. Can anyone tell me the code? I believe it starts with an NT is what Hosier's trying to tell me. There might have been a C in there. Maybe a zero. Could have been a three. Anybody? Is this thing on? All right, let's see who got who. Mosnar got Rolf, so he's top tier. Muir got Kevin, so we're all dorks now. You can't be double D. I told you, the ads are off limit. You gotta be the neighborhood kid. You crowd are so unfucking helpful. I got to look at James Dean's card again. NTC 0394. It's the easiest fucking number. Even the kids can remember that number. Of course you don't, Claire, because you're one millimeter away from the computer. Oh, I have to click on the computer first. Excuse me, Claire. <laughs> I didn't mean nothing by it. There's the hunk icon again. Stan from Family Guy. I don't even think... That's American Dad. Hosier, what the fuck is going on right now? You've worked yourself retarded. Okay. I need to rewatch Half-Baked. I love that fucking movie. Son, ooh, plank, count the rings, count the rings. We're down to 11 viewers. Nobody could put up with my fucking nonsense anymore. Once I brought up Ed and Nettie, son, all bets were off. I feel like there are secret items in here and I, I want them to have. Okay. There are bats country in there, so we're going to equip the lighter. Because bats hate lighters. Everybody knows it. They're notorious anti parkers that's what I'm saying. <laughs> You've worked yourself into a stupor. Are you going to take like a month off after this shit is over with? Because <laughs> you need to. Bats can't do shit to Claire Rick. Everybody knows it. They're elementally weak little liars. That's why Zubat and Golbat are both weak to fire. That seems like an OSHA-like violation to have a little stairway inside your bathroom. No handicap stall. For being a medical corporation, Umbrella sure is fucking unsafe practice. Then there's this asshole. Did you see that? He got like a burst of speed right at the last second. His zombie adrenaline almost got him over here to get some of that Claire meat. That's right. Don't get up for me, boys. Oh, Ray Ray. This game is chock full of Ray Rays. Fine. Look, he won't even walk towards me because he's, he's fully adopted the Ray Ray lifestyle. He's like, you merely adopted the Ray Ray, but I was born in it. Once I've grabbed you and decreased your HP slightly, then you have my permission to die. Do I have a green over in my inventory? I don't. God bless Texas. Okay, let's beat this damn game. No wonder I'm hemorrhaging viewers. I have a metric shitload of fucking bullets and shit in my inventory. Guns and shit. LAPD. We gotta watch their creepy home movies, don't we? Yep. God. Why are fucking rich kids <laughs> it's always so fucking creepy? 
Is it because they're so damn inbred? I'm gonna say all this and one day a rich fucking heiress or heir from some European dynasty is gonna watch my channel and be prepared to donate all kinds of money to me and he's gonna hear me talking about him. And he'll be like, this uncouth ruffian dares question my proud lineage. Oh. The only way to calm my nerves is to have sex with all of my sisters. Good day. I'm the villain from the terrible American old boy remake. Also, if you hear a sound that sounds like me opening cans of Rolling Rock and pouring them into a Yeti tumbler, just ignore them. It's not. It's me drinking water and eating carrot sticks. All right. So the AVGM would be so proud of me drinking Rolling Rock. I'm not on the Rolling Rocker, though, so. Hmm. All right, let's beat this game real quick. Sorry, I was playing one-handed. There was a little bit of beer left in the can that wouldn't fit in the glass, and so I was legally obligated to dump it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Ozier, I couldn't get nothing past him. Why can't I have all these rifles? Guns from many countries. That's why. Claire only uses American guns. I'd love... No way, I can't have these because Steve has to... Yeah, come in here and trigger this shit like an idiot. <laughs> I like how Claire's just standing. Okay, Claire, we get it. It's hot. Son. The Grateful Dead stand is going to kill you on that train. But you need to uh, put these back. Also, like how you never get ammo for those if you take them. Although, if you play as Steve in the battle game, they have ammo and you can shoot them. Although, he has some machine guns, so there's no reason not to. Okay. All right. We got this. We're going to almost exit. Steve's going to yell. We're going to come back and save him. And then he's going to act like he's got a big dick. And, yeah. And then life goes on. Let's open the Dare Aluminium case first, though. Actually, we need uh, Rodriguez's lockpick. I hope that's his actual name. Look, I'm telling you all, I'm not typecasting him. I believe the man's name is Rodriguez. You can check Tenpei with me. Son, Mosnar living the dream. Going in the gas station stone to buy 40s of King Cobra. That's what Benjamin Franklin died for. Son, so we could have that privilege. That's why he fucked all them hookers. Highland Gaelic L is probably more expensive than Rolling Rock is the only downside. I'm drinking Rolling Rock because for 11 United States dollars, I got a box containing 18 cans of it. I'm living the fucking dream, y'all. All right. Got to keep our inventory neat and tidy. Or as Double D would say, messy, messy, messy. Okay. All right. We know what we're doing. Shut up. We still don't need that handgun yet. It's on. These bad boys will get us through the hard times. Because you never find more ammo for these guns. So the sooner I use them up, the sooner I have two free inventory space. Ah. Three honey buns. You know what they say about honey buns, according to my friend James Piner. They resemble a certain uh, region of a certain animal's Help derriere. Me. Steve? I wish I could leave Steve in there. He's too stupid to put the Lugers back to. Which works out because we come and save him, but the Darwinism. What kind of chips did you eat, by the way, Mosnar, with your three honey buns? Oh, it's the wrong door. I was reading the chat. <laughs> Don't at me. Kill feels here. The good times are finally back. All right, we have to save Steve. By pressing two guns. <laughs> two guns fucking. That's my Inuit name. 
Look at him with his fucking tough guy camo close. pants. But I found something, thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need Salt this. and vinegar are good chips. Were they kettle-style chips, or were they Lay's, a.k.a. Good. Walker's? I've got Fine. to be more inclusive. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. <gasps> I heard a bling and a blong. Son, cash money for salt and vinegar chips. Let's see if Freya approves. <gasps> there she is in the bottom corner of the screen. You know Freya loves salt and vinegar potato chips. Okay, let's go solve a mystery and or rewrite history. Oh, uh, hold on. Y'all watch this cutscene. I have to talk to my roommate for a second. Grigsby! How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford. Commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inn. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people. I'll be right back, y'all. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. Oh, Jesus, I just can't you now. deny it? My base <laughs> has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. All right, did y'all have fun watching F, F, what's his name, Dick Buck the Sniper there, miss Claire 20 times? Uh. So my roommate calls, I go six months without talking to him, but the moment I stream is when he needs something. And you know what he needs? He drove to Chapel Hill today, which is several hours from here, to watch Carolina play Syracuse in college basketball. And he needed to make sure I went in the living room and set the DVR to also record the game. Because I guess being there watching it live isn't enough. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to look, find himself in the crowd. I don't fucking know. All right. Now I'm done being mad about slight inconveniences that don't actually really affect me. <laughs> now I'm done with my petty anger. Let's continue playing this game. I'm 
I'm going to assume your hates UNC basketball since he hates everything else my roommate likes. <laughs> okay. All right. I can't tell if Muir's being sarcastic or not. Okay, I'm going to slap this fucking steering wheel on this fucking boat. And we're going to drive this boat straight to Antarctica and up Alexa's asshole. Son, you went to Carolina. Did they have a paladin school? Son, was Dean Thomas a paladin? Have they got Jordan's fucking shield hung? From the top of the Dean Dome. Okay. I need a fanny pack. I saw you post in Schoolhouse Rock. I'm more of a ollie 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 get your adverbs here man myself. Or maybe a little bit of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 100. Here I come. All right. That's probably going to chase off at least one mystery viewer. Charlemagne? Wasn't he the, in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Also, spoilers, we took a secret submarine underwater. That's just the kind of dynamite gal we are. All right, zombies. Listen up. It's going to be a regulation me shooting you to fucking death. So I don't want any of y'all's loose cannon antics. He made me shoot an extra time. I count that as loose cannon. And antics of the highest caliber. Okay. All right. There's like two fish in that giant fucking tank. What a waste. A hairy bear. A scary bear. Did you know that Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear? And that Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair? And so Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy. Was he? Checkmate. Oh, I should have brought the Navy proof. What a waste. I need to min-max this game better. I hope Carcinogen SDA is not watching. He'll just be shaking his head. <laughs> Look at him just standing there. If I had to describe how he was standing there as a breakfast item, I'd say he was standing there like a stack of pancakes. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's your all's opinion on wonton soup versus egg drop soup? These are the hard-hitting questions you only get in a 10-face stream. We're up to 15 viewers. Mystery viewers, what's your opinions on wonton versus egg drop soup? Son, that's the hot topic. That's fucking going across the internet these days. All right, we gotta solve puzzles and shit. We're the LAPD. We solve puzzles and shit. Grits are delicious. If there's one thing I know, it's that they're wholly American. Because whenever I think of grits, I think of Europeans being dismissive of them. Only because there's a scene in Doctor Who where the master, who's like the doctor's rival, became the prime minister, and he's talking to the president of the United States and asks him if he wants some grits. And then he goes, what even are grits? I was like, you cheeky fucking cunt. You motherfucker. But then er he made David Tennant an old man, but then everybody on Earth channeled their energy into David Tennant like a spirit bomb, and he became young again. That show is so fucking hackney. <laughs> I've watched like... Five or six seasons of Doctor Who, and it's 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 a show. I'll give it that. One time he fought guys that didn't have heads that were like monks from the future, and they had swords. Um. God. 
One time he went to a planet where everyone, it was like a big hospital, and there were nuns that were also cat ladies, and you think I would like that, but I didn't. And then there was this, the last, he went like four billion years in the future to watch the earth get destroyed by the sun, and the last pure human was there, and it was like a, a skin stretched over a fucking, like a tarp. You'll notice I'm getting grabbed like a motherfucker because one guy bit my ankle and chain combo me into that shit. Not that I'm angry. Anything but. Who? Me? I'm out of video games. Heaven forbid. Oh, cheese grits, son. I'm not a sweet grits man. If you're going to do sweet, you go cream of wheat, son. The, cr the cream of wheat guy. He's always smiling at you. God bless him. I remember one of the funniest jokes In Living Color ever did was they did a parody of Hollywood Squares called East Hollywood Squares where all the uh, the stars that were in Hollywood Squares were stereotypical uh, or lesser known black celebrities. And one of the squares was the cream of wheat guy. <laughs> God, this shit was good to me. Oatmeal's good. I like all breakfast foods. Also, nobody was talking about wonton versus egg drop soup. I'm so disappointed. Y'all are cowards. I know you don't want to get political. If anyone says hot and sour, though, we'll know who's the contrarian. I see 16 viewers. Mr. Viewers, I want y'all to know that I'm glad to have you here. And even if you don't chat, and even if you get tired of listening to me talk after like 30 seconds and leave, it still means the world to me that you clicked on the 10 face stream. There's a lot of streams out there. We're glad you clicked on us. Son, Hozier knows what's up. I didn't want to bias y'all's results, but I'm an egg drop soup man. If I'm getting wontons, they're going to be fried. You can't put them in a soup that might almost slightly be healthy. Got to find a way to fry egg drop soup. Of course, if you want to be extra cheeky... Oh, we lost two Mr. Viewers, even after my passionate speech. If you want to be extra che cheeky, you put your wontons in your egg drop soup. That's some good shit. That's the good shit lollipop, as, uh... What's her name? That little redhead rapscallion, Shirley Temple, would say. Okay. We're having fun and sharing a few laughs, but I think we might be time to get serious. I want to keep my bowgun bolt separate because um, uh, you want to have some to combine with explosives and some to just throw in your bowgun and your badge because you're off the case. We might as well save because I've been known to just get killed in a Resident Evil game like some kind of fucking asshole. Which is what happened when me and Luther were playing this. I got to the tyrant at the end of part one and thought I was hot shit. But he cold cocked the fuck out of me. And Luther, Luther just stood there. They were eating a wonton. What the hell? Dig, you lead such a strange life. You hate cats, you ain't eat wontons. You're like some kind of bizarro person. Do you live in a mirror universe? Are you secretly a Yefnet fan? But you pretend to be a Tenfei fan? Because they're polar opposites. I'm taking that green herb. Egg roll? I don't really like egg rolls, Hoser. You've burned all your goodwill with me. We were egg drop soup boys for the briefest of moments. Son, you gotta know how to cook your ramen. Hey, now, you can't use... I threw I ass-darted him off a bridge. That was so satisfying. I, I don't know if I've ever done that before. Oh, hey, how you doing with your yellow-ass hat like you work at Napa Auto Parts? You smug prick. Okay. There's a big, scary worm in the ground here. And Zeke and Julie aren't here to drink monster potions and fight it. So we're gonna have to run away from it. <gasps> Oh, 
Tommy's here. It's officially a stream, y'all. Tommy's always fashionably late to a 10 face stream. Like, I know Tommy is always sees a notification that his good friend Ben is streaming. But he's like, nah, I'm not going to come in just yet. He doesn't want to seem too needy. We were having a hot discussion, Tommy, on whether you get wonton or egg drop soup. And I don't know if you're just quoting the meme of you get wonton soup or if you uh, actually would choose wonton over egg drop. Tommy, why do you say things that you know intentionally hurt me? Why do you do this? We're good friends, Tommy. We're, we're going to share a bowl of good friends cereal at some point. I guarantee it. Okay. All right. Let's swipe the biohazard card. There you go. Open the shit out of that door. I'm Claire Redfield, and I'm a door-opening motherfucker. Oh, uh, you were talking about ramen noodles. Let me give you 10 phase old-fashioned ramen noodle hack. You make your bowl, uh, or you make your thing of ramen noodles like usual, but while they're still super hot from the boiling water, you crack a whole egg into them and stir it up. It makes them very rich. Also, like to dab a little bit of hot sauce in there, too. It's good. It's what I like to call that good shit. So, once again, Shirley Temple. Claire seems to think there's a man over there. No, she doesn't. It's the opposite. She thinks there's no man. Son, she she thinks the person who could kill the lit Witch King from Lord of the Rings is over there because it's no man. Son, Teague, egg drop soup. Finally, we have something to agree on. Egg drop soup is going to be our breakfast at Tiffany's, son. We finally have something to, to, to relate to each other with. Was there an episode of Scrubs where Turk wants to be on the Good Friend cereal box? Because that sounds like something they would do, and it also sounds fucking hilarious. I remember the episode where they poured out... Uh, good lord, I almost... Like, if that zombie had been paying any amount of attention, he'd have been all over me. Um, there was a uh, episode where they got two decoder rings out of the same box of cereal. And they were like, it finally happened. God, Scrubs is such a good show. Or it was before they ran it into the fucking ground like Dragon Ball Z. Akira Toriyama wanted to end Scrubs after JD defeated the the Frieza of the show, which was Dr. Kelso. But then they, they made him keep going. They drugged that shit all the way into GT. You ordered spicy ramen, Tommy. Did it? Was it made by Tanga? Because I assume you that's where you exclusively buy all your product. We the mirror smashed, so not JC Denton. Adam, Adam Jensen has been here. Almost forgot his name. Son Mosner gets it. Breakfast is the best. Son, Ho Teague, we're building, once again, we're building our relationship back up. We're like the Leslie Nope slash Ron Swanson, because we both love breakfast so much. I'll let you decide which one of us is Ron Swanson and which one of us is Leslie Nope. Good Lord! The hate in that zombie's heart gave him the best burst of speed. You're just laying there. Like two waffles on a plate next to some sausage. What's my percentage at? 8%. That's almost 9%, so we should be okay. 80 cent a package for ramen. That's like four times the price. It better be some good shit. It better be some dick-sucking ramen you bought. <gasps> I hear a bling and a blong. That means the good times are back. I oh, yeah, we have to print our own map. <gasps> Son, Weschel Chill is following me. Thank you, Weschel Chill, for both following me and making Freya appear in the bottom corner of the screen. You're doing God's work. 
You're good people. I like to cut of your jib. I'm going to let you come over and fuck my sister. This motherfucker's going to get back up. And when he does, he ain't going to be happy. No? Okay. Claire keeps making me think that people aren't dead. I would love to throw away this key. <gasps> Explosive bug gunpowder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, y'all. Enough of these shenanigans. We're having some fun and sharing a few laughs talking about ramen and scrubs and breakfast at Tiffany's. But we don't forget this is a professional Resident Evil Code Veronica live stream, son. I've got Chris has to show up and then we have to perform the fusion dance and then uh, kill Alexia. That song came out in 93. I could have sworn that was an 80s song. You know what that means? If that song came out in the 1990s, eh, it's a good song. Ten Face Sister is a brother. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's a bit disheartening. For a brief period in the 90s, a brief period of like seven or eight years, I had a stepsister. Does that count? Okay, we're going to read this file. It's not a file, it's a bow gun. There we go. <laughs> Alright, some guy's going to come up to this door and want to be, be good friends with us, but we're going to have to run away. I think his head's going to explode, so get ready for it. Hang on to your drawers, son. What is he expecting Claire to do? That poor man. I want to play his story. Maybe give him a better ending. Look, I can read the numbers on that portrait. It's like 1126. But no. Also, I love that they got this official, like, hermetically, hermetically, hermionically sealed. Hermione came and put a fucking charm on it. Like lab, but then they got a picture of a scurvy skeleton pirate in the corner for levity. It's like their version of the hang in there, kitty. Your name is We Should Chill. <laughs> I just realized how incorrectly I read that. <laughs> I read it as West Old Chill. Like it's <laughs> like it's like the name of your uh, D and D character or something. It's like I'm the powerful wizard. We're sure to chill. Also, apparently, I'm a vampire. Blue. Fine. Don't swipe that card, Claire. I don't give a shit. Fuck this place. I'll build my own umbrella lap with hookers and blackjack. <laughs> Not the bone zone. Is Captain uh, Chili Bones going to send you here? Oh, Lord. Alfred's trying to fucking 360 no scope us like an asshole. Dude, you're the worst sniper ever. You could have thrown the gun at her and probably actually killed her. Also, how are you hitting me from that angle? You ain't doing shit. And he runs away like a punk bitch. Sonny, indigo indentation. In indentation? Incantation? Alright, time to see DJ the mouse. I would love some hangover bullets. Thank you for asking me. What kind of drink machine is this? I can't read that. Can any of you all read that? Is that Korean? Okay. When this shutter closes here in a second and you see a mouse running away, he is an actual Resident Evil character named DJ. DJ the mouse. And if you play as Wesker in the battle game that you unlock, you can actually find his diary that explains how he journeyed with Claire throughout the whole game. Like, I, you think I was making this up, but I'm not. I assume DJ the Mouse was one of the developer's first sonos and he snuck him in the game. 
That cheeky bastard. Alright, how are we going to divvy this up? We don't need these anymore. I'll have a regular gun. Yes, I'll have the large gun, please. Alright, and then what we're going to do is press the wrong button to open our inventory. <laughs> like an asshole. We're going to combine this to make explosive powder. And then these we can put here. And throw in here. There we go. It's a nice inventory we've made. God bless us. All right. A couple of ink ribbons just to keep the edge off. And some hemostat from our good friend Rodriguez. <gasps> I hear a bling and a bong. Telling Tia guys what's happening. There she is. It's officially Freya time at the bottom of the screen. Son, Tommy, you're disparaging DJ the Mouse so much. Son, he had to mix mix fat beats at the club because he's DJ Mouse. He's dead mouse. You kids are into him, right? With his robot mouse helmet. Okay. As long as we leave, like, this many of these for making explosive bolts, we'll be all right. We can take these with us in case we need to fucking bow gun something to death. All right. Good times. No, the triangle doesn't open the inventory bin. You've pressed the touchpad. <laughs> like an asshole. Tim and Tommy. Y'all should fuse into... It's hard to come up with a fusion name for that. Because Timmy and Tommy are both real names. T -O -me? Maybe. Ah. Noah would never watch a 10 face stream. So he wouldn't wipe his ass with a 10 face stream. Okay. Okay, let's beat the game real fast. I got my explosive bow gun ready for the bander snatches. Son. Charlie Broker in here writing these bander snatches. There's DJ. Look, he escaped. He has to go help Miss Brisby save her son from that center block that's sinking in the mud. I, have prepared I don't know who's more annoying to listen to, Steve or Alfred. Please I think I'd rather listen to Alfred. Me Ashford. Because he's like, he, he's so ridiculous. I Steve's like trying way too hard. To but Alfred's just, this. he's on another level. <laughs> he does have that laugh, though. I forgot about that laugh. When he did it right then, I could feel the cartilage in my bones breaking down. <laughs> That's how bad that laugh affected me. Uh, Dr. Daddy Macaroni puts it pretty good. Steve, pretty bad. It's true. Spooky door opening animation. 45 minutes later. Someone thought Steve was sexy. Is that possible? Those words, can they be used like that in a sentence? Why, yes, I would love some empty submachine guns. Thank you. Oh, boy. I saw someone left one magazine for them over there. Hopefully, uh, King Solomon shows up and cuts it in half. That better not be a bandersnatch. He's where you can get an ass whipping. Look at you with your gangly ass stretchy arm, you dull seam looking piccolo from the first Dragon Ball. I told him. And then one to grow on. Uh oh, excuse me, sir. Looks like you earned three. I told him. Oh, Alfred? So I thought he was sexy. You keep surprising me with the words you say. This area is hard to see. Did I mention this game is ugly? Let's watch Steve be super cool Matrix, kid. Does this imply Steve was watching through that window? Or was he just planning on doing this anyway? He was like, Claire, I think it's so cool if I jump through a window. And look, he's no scoping this guy. He didn't quite 360, but he knows what he did. Where did you find guns for those gold lugers? Are they gold bullets? Nothing about this makes any fucking sense. Oh, yeah, that felt good. 
Don't worry, Three amps will kill it. <laughs> That's just the perfect non sequitur. Oh, I know because I took three explosive bolts. I get, I get where you're going, Tommy. So, Tommy, your galaxy brain here in the Tenfei chat. Tommy, when are you going to join the Tenfei Discord server so you can type memes with everybody else? Machine guns for me. You know the deal. In exchange for your lugers. <laughs> It reminds me, Teague, okay. you need to post a link to the Discord. Every Tenfei stream, you got to throw a, a Discord link in there. <laughs> this thing is too cool. I do it myself, but, you know, yes. with my lumbago my acting kind of up. Weapon. And, you know, I got this right. trick knee and my tennis elbow. Huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. Son, she trolled the shit out of Steve. She's like, enjoy your empty, limp dick Just guns. Way up there? And then Bill There's Burr appears. And he's like, what are you, a right. fag? Oh, Bill Burr. God bless your heart. You're heavier than you look. Free up. Cowboy, you didn't know about the Discord. It's almost like I don't do a good job advertising it. Who'd have thought? Happy now. What? Claire Lugies. I don't know how to interpret that. Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Bill Burr is Bay. That's some good alliteration you just threw out because it's the truth. Oh God, you let Claire step on you, okay. Tommy. Who does that Let's remind do you it. of? Wait here, Claire. <laughs> Which character from a Time terrible old anime talk. that I made you watch <laughs> does that remind you of? Somebody wanting to be stepped on. I'm Steve, and I'm here to say I like some machine guns in a major way. Don't you get up. We get to go on a Steve Burnside event. Is that his name? Steve Burnside? I can't remember. He does do the cool guy at arms cross. Look at this. Degeneration X, motherfucker. <laughs> Tommy knows what I'm talking about. Tommy, me and you are two of the only people in human history to have fucking watched Hyper Police. Also, I just realized that the, the dog guy that wants uh, Miss Poe to step on him with those red shoes is named Tommy. He's basically your first son. Everybody, look up uh, the character Tommy from the anime Hyper Police. If you ever wanted to see my friend Tommy's official canon persona. It's Tenfei lore now, Tommy. I can't change it. Okay, this is all... Well, this is like secret goo for making Chris's handgun better. So we're going to leave it here. We don't need any Chris's handgun goo. I'm a cowboy, baby. There ain't no rest for the wicked. You know, it's too late, Tommy. I'm sorry. All right, Steve, it's time to shoot this motherfucker to death. You can't take the ammo with you, so you might as well use it all. Look at that, guys. He's a cool dude. He hurt himself. <laughs> Tenfei the Hedgehog and Tom Gill, the police thing. <laughs> it's a perfect combination. The anime is called Hyper Police. It's from the like late 80s, early 90s. If it's from, and if it is from the early 90s, then it's good anime. It's not very mainstream. Technically, it's not that good of an anime. I just liked it for some strange reason that if you watched it, you wouldn't be able to pick on very easily. Also, I need to collect, I only have two volumes of the manga, but they're like out of print, so they're very expensive. Only Mr. Dink could collect the whole manga. The manga is much more etchy than the anime. It's got actual titties in it. Steve. Cankles the enchilada. What were you doing here? God, enchiladas are good. Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! Uh oh. I don't want to talk about Steve's it. Steve's getting extra flippant. Remember, if a girl asks you a question and you don't like it, just empty some of your fucking precious Steve. ammunition you need to fight zombies with. That'll show her. 
Let's get going. <laughs> he did hurt himself in this confusion. What were you watching me on before, Hosier? Were you watching me on some sort of soothsaying crystal? <laughs> ah, Tommy. My favorite part of you actually being in the stream chat is we get to make in jokes. That poor man just wanted to listen to his Linkin Park CD. But he couldn't because that elephant wouldn't fuck, fucking stop stepping on it. You know, Tommy, once the transition has occurred at the end of this month, we're going to have to do a full playthrough of Resident Evil Outbreaks File 1 and 2. It's been long overdue for the Tenfei channel. The historic Tenfei video OMG Kevin has been the only appearance of Outbreak on my channel. And most of the people watching right now, other than Hosier, probably haven't even seen OMG Kevin. Because it's from the old age of Tenfei that nobody watches anymore. Steve's going to kill his zombie daddy after he goes over and licks Claire's ear. We're getting so much character development, quote unquote, for Steve? Question mark? No! Hosier, how many times have you watched OMG Kevin? Can you quote one line from it? Son, I'm calling you out. You're one of them fake ten fake girls that I read about on the internet. Oh, the axe man. Your nose. Father! Goddamn leech man. Fucking... He's not even in below freezing point. He's in the damn the hive. Steve, you're so wasteful. If that Indian from that commercial was here, seeing you waste all those handgun bullets, he'd shed one tear. Steve. <laughs> That's a cheap one, Hoser. You're just saying that because 99% of Tempo videos contain that word. You're, I think you're being cheeky. Father. I might even go so far as to say you're Father. being a cheeky tosser. Father. Okay, we finally got through Steve's plot development. Maybe he'll never talk again. Dad. I used to work for Umbrella. Tried to you already proved your point, Hoser. God damn it. Intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. I was caught. <laughs> damn clams. Tommy Mom Jesus. Was killed. And we were sent here. Tommy, have you played Persona 5 yet? Steve. It's coming out for the Switch, so you can pirate it. Fool to do or you can just play my copy. While I watch you and harshly judge all your choices, I'm going to harshly judge who, which waifu you pick. It's okay now. Just rest. Are y'all following this deep lore of these characters? I see secret hangout bullets that they don't want you to know about. This Midwestern mom found all these handgun bullets and ammunition <laughs> retailers hate her. Okay. Let's keep saving our handgun bullets and use our shitty bow gun. It's a good thing. The more handgun bullets we have when we get the custom handgun, the better off we'll be. I did it. I unlocked the door. Yeah, but Zombie Dad's not his real dad. Bow gun time! You have to shoot so many quarrels in them? Bolts? My friend Noah knows the difference between barrels and barrels and quolts. That's literally what I was gonna say. It sounds like a store from fucking Harry Potter. Tommy, did you see the latest from JK Rowling verse? Apparently wizards used to just shit in their pants and all over the hallways and then they de shit a kiss and make it all disappear. Ah, good time. Social media is such a good thing to have. <gasps> Look, this room says you should find secret pirate statues. And by that I mean secret pirate painting. I'd love the eagle plate. We'll never find the wolf plate, though. 
What you got to say, old Captain Skyvy Crambo? Look, it's the, the, the skeleton captain before he became a skeleton, when he still had meat on his bones, when he still ate corned beef hash every morning and had meat on his bones. Oh, you didn't see that, Tommy? Apparently it came out, it's official canon now, that back in the day before Hogwarts had plumbing, before they adopted the muggle standard of plumbing, that wizards would just shit in the hallway and then use magic to make it disappear. <laughs> oh, good lord. I accidentally exited on the same floor again because it's so idiotic. I thought quarrels were like a girthier bolt. They were like the slugs of bolts. Quivers are the the thing you put them. I'm so confused. Where's Noah when we need him? All right, here we are. We're gonna use this emblem to open a box and get items out of it, like Cracker Jack. Oh. Or we would, but I have to raise a scissor lift. And I don't have the fucking license for it. So I'm not union, so I'm not allowed to use it. Who are the two that are above me in Code Veronica X? Who are the two that I must defeat and absorb their strength? They better not be hot girls. Son, Tim's got the right idea. Okay. I have so many handgun bullets. Am I even going the right? Let's see. That's where Steve ran through earlier. So I can't do shit there. Nah, we need to go back to where Steve is being sad and then go out the door and walk the floor. And everybody might even do the dinosaur if you're lucky. I keep trying to pass <laughs> to make the text go faster and selecting the same floor I'm on. It, God, if Carcinogen SDA ever watches this. He plays so much Resident Evil, he could never possibly watch somebody else do it because he, it, it's like his job. The don't get stuck, Satchel. They won't get stuck. All right, that's secret pirate room, so we're going back this way. I detest. I talked about it way back in my uh, Tenfinity Demon Souls playthrough. So old ass Tenfei, that the Pope hates crossbows because when they invented crossbows back in the day, it meant any dumb idiot peasant who had one could fucking black blat a knight. Because you didn't have to fucking have skill. The crossbow just... You pointed it and shot. It was the gun of the day. You didn't have to earn that shit. I can't see shit because of tank barrel cannons. I can't hit shit. Claire, you're drunk. With power. Okay, let's go over here and fight fair and honorable. Let's have a samurai duel with these fucking dogs. Okay, apparently Claire can't hit shit, and we need to leave. What am I in? Am I in regular? Okay. Good God almighty. Oh, look, you earn regular hand. Apparently, the crossbow bolts, dogs are immune to them. Did you know that? It's historically accurate. Mirror the Paladin is going to be like, oh, yeah, well, dogs, of course, you can't shoot a dog with a crossbow. Who even fucking ever heard of that? Not of them angry. Whew. So we're up to like a constant 14 viewers. Mystery viewers, just so you know, y'all do my heart so good. We even upgraded one. We Should Chill was a mystery viewer. He's become a Tenfei true believer, and God bless him for it. Or her. I don't want to jump to conclusions. I, I need to jump to conclusions, Matt, from Office Space. Okay, now that I'm done getting sport fucked by dogs, let's go beat the game.
Oh, that's right. I need the, uh, the silver card to open that shit. Well, fuck me, then. I don't even fucking care. I don't even want to go in that room. What's in there? Sour grapes? <laughs> I'd say that like I didn't just already run through there. Son, if you are a historian, then yes, you very much get to go to the bottom floor. To the platform. Because all historians need to repeat to the bottom platform. It's just what you do. So they ran, Wesker ran plenty of drills in Birkin to make sure that the historians know to proceed to the bottom platform. That's a deep cut Tenfei joke, and I love it. How many of these can you take? That's what I fucking thought. Punk bitch ass Bandersnap. Get a job! <laughs> I love that you keep bringing up the Poison Ramen mirror. It's such an old Ten Fake cut that has never made another appearance in another video. It does my heart good whenever I see it. Was that in the original OMG Hunk or was that in an OMG Hunk 3 The Revenge in I just know it's old as shit. Oh, excuse me, sir. I believe I shot you with an ass load of fucking darts. So if you could be so kind as to bleed out, thank you. Is that what you went to UNC for? Oh God, the hate in his heart. He had a burst of speed. Good Lord. It's almost like this fucking bow gun isn't very powerful. Who did they ever imagine? Tell you what, there's, there's a zombie up here and he's, he's in for fucking <laughs> rude awakening. There we did. We did it. Okay. Not a Sonic guy. Is that like the Sonic girl, Tommy? Your ultimate waifu, the Sonic girl? Alright, they opened the door. To our mystery date. We know what we're doing. Everybody calm the fuck down. Take a goddamn breath. Don't open the map, Ben, like an idiot. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. No, don't equip them. Jesus. Oh, God, the Sonic guy. I forgot about him. He did take it until he couldn't take any more, son. It was too much for him. It's another a joke, but just between me and you that nobody else will get. And that's what makes it so good. All right, we get to solve a mystery. And potentially, first digit left. So it's left, right, left, right. Good God. All right, y'all remember this. It's left, right, left, right, 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 right. Okay, it's easy. The kids at home can even do this. All right. Oh, we have to activate this shit first. Excuse me. Let's watch Alfred be a creepy motherfucker for a brief moment. ZD Miles, I, I, you, you were in the stream chat so silently this whole time, but I appreciate that you hung out for a little while and was and chatted up and was a good friend. Son, you're going to leave. I'm on dual wheeled rings of Arda. I'm going to put one in every slot. I don't know it yet, because I have to solve this stupid fucking puzzle. Y'all so goddamn proud of. Okay, so left, right, gives us a one. Then left, oh, it's going to be a birth date, isn't it? 
1970, and then right, right, right. Nineteen seventy-one. I was assume that's the year the fucking ass grab twins were born. The incest, super incest twins were born. Just in time to watch Star Wars. They would love Star Wars because of the scene where Luke and Leia make out at the beginning of the Empire. Where Han's like, hey, Leia, you think I'm hot, right? And she's like, no, you're stupid and dumb. And then she runs into the room where uh, <laughs> Luke is in that back to tank and strips asshole naked and gets in there. And then they bang for 40 minutes while Chewie watches and jerks <laughs> off. I'm pretty sure this happens in the movie. Don't quote me. Don't you try to grab me with your gangly ass fucking arm. I'm going to kill him with regular fucking crossbow bolts. I don't give a shit. I hear fucking Redfield and I kill for fun. Oh, God, what did I hit? <laughs> This is it. The <laughs> over. Okay, yeah, we got this. All right, we'll put one explosive bolt in him just because he's been good and ate his fucking vegetables. But after that, he's getting killed. Or... Well, never mind. I shot it out the window because auto aim decides sometimes that you just need to shoot out of a window. Fuck you. I'm no, I'm Resident Evil fucking cover on because auto aim. I'm just shit. Deep trace. Oh, it's like a fucking raid boss. Good lord, I'm so angry. I gotta pee now. Of course they're in a barn. They're in a space barn on Hoth. It's like you've never seen Star Wars before. I can't believe we haven't lost more mystery viewers with my weird Star Wars incest fanfiction I've been writing. Right, we're going to use this. And everything's going to be just fine. I'm going to open the map like an idiot, trying to get in my inventory. Eat an herb. Alright, y'all hang out here for a second. I gotta go take a rage pee. I get to type BRB bio like the cool guy. BRB bio. Found a hazard. No, I'm trying to type a cool guy joke. God damn it. Hazard. There you go. That's a funny joke right there. Well, it would be if y'all hadn't interrupted it with your paragraphs and text. You know what you are if you use the bathroom between the Atlantic Ocean and Asia? European. Oh. Hold on, I had to pour more healthy water and carrot sticks in my cup. I turned into two more cheap cans of Rolling Rock beer. Okay, ASMR as I pour this. Oh no. I poured the beer too greedily and too aggressively, and it's starting to foam up. I might have to take a panic sip. See somebody made a mirror made of Edgar's auto crossbow reference, which is good. I always appreciate a good Final Fantasy VI reference. Huh? That ain't bad to have. All right, enough of this fucking bullshit. Let's beat this damn game. Good lord. I'm sitting around running my damn mouth. What would Carson Engine SDA say if he saw this cheap slipshod half-ass playthrough? Hope you're ready to hear spooky mansion giggling. Because we're about to be riddled with it. It's true. The Bio Blaster heals half the damn enemies in the game. Oh, 
Oh no, I saw it, Mosnar. <laughs> I shot that one bolt from the grassy knoll and killed JFK with it. I like Chainsaw, but so often Edgar puts that hockey mask on and then auto kills an enemy that you don't want him to auto kill. Okay, we get to play Banner Snatch Rally. I hate this shit. Claire! My god! You can't hit shit! Nope. I'm deep tracing him. Fuck you. I blame hit fucking Shigeru Miyamoto. God, and I hate this. No, I'm going back for a green earth. Shit pisses me to fuck off. Goddamn. Hold the button and Claire. I'm like, oh, she'll auto aim. And every now and then, Shinji Mikami's ghost appears and won't let you auto aim. And then you look bad at video games on the internet. That's my excuse. Anyway. That's my gift and my curse. I like that when Edgar uses the Bio Blaster, like a gas mask appears on his sprite, but they didn't line it up correctly. It's like on the side of his face, because he stands, he stands like sideways, holding his arm up, doing a cool guy defend pose when he uses his tools. I don't think they got the memo. Give me this green herb of shame. Let me eat my shame herb in peace. I'm gonna drown that shit in ranch dressing. We're down to 13 viewers because I'm so bad at the game. I deserve it. I deserve to lose mystery viewers. Then go watch Hot Girls play Resident Evil Code Veronica because I assume the top current Code Veronica streamer is going to be Hot Girl. She named one titty Alfred and one titty Alexia. And she's just rubbing them together, recreating the plot. Alright, we're just going to have to ignore Bandersnatches, even though they've got ridiculous fucking auto-aim. And I hate them. Only Claire had a shotgun. Fortunately, she's a lady in Resident Evil. She's not allowed to have one. Well, except Jill. Jill broke that rule. She gets shotguns and grenade launchers and Barry Burton, the most powerful weapon of all. Barry Burton's like her Ava that she pilots. Alright, we need to equip this lighter. So that bats don't get all up in her shit. And get tangled up in her hair. So if there's one thing I know about ladies, is that bats love to get tangled up in their hair. <gasps> Handgun bullets. Oh boy. What are you looking at, like? Of course, there's a goddamn banner snatch in here. Being a perfect fucking asshole of an enemy. I fucking hate them. They're like hunters and lickers, except a hundred times worse. It's like if hunters and lickers formed a terrible Sonic the Hedgehog OC. With <laughs> based on uh the werehog. Damn, we're down to 12 viewers. I really am doing bad. This is it. The good times are over. We, we had a good run here on the old 10 face stream. We had some fun. Shared a few laughs. Grab this first aid spray here just to keep my humors in balance. You know what they say? Spray, spray, spray. There's mortal wounds away. That's a damn shame, Mosner. Keep focused, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Good lord, we're down to 11 viewers. Oh, well, that's because actual Tempe fans are leaving to go to bed. Is someone at the corridor? 
What kind of bedroom has windows out to the hallway? That's some creepy fucking exhibitionist shit. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Oh boy, Green Herb. My good friend Green Herb is hanging out over here in the corner. God bless him. I like, uh, every character in this game you play as has their unique emblem there above their health condition. And I like Claire's is like a fucking battle Valkyrie with fire wings. You know that's her DeviantArt OC. You know that's her, secretly her MLP Pegasus OC. Monzari, look at you, so professional. All this high level shit you've been making. Filed the message card. Oh wait, we have to go in the other bedroom. This mansion is terribly laid out. Why is there a couch in the hallway? never understood the appeal of mansions. They're just like full of creepy fuck chambers and mannequins. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they come standard with any mansion. You try to pass an inspection after your mansion's built and you fail it. And you're like, what's wrong? Was it there's something wrong with the wiring or the foundation? They're like, no, it's just we found no creepy fuck rooms and a, a disturbing lack of mannequins. It's like you don't even want to f incest fuck your sister. Ah, uh, Space Coast, Coast to Coast. I'm more of a cartoon planet man myself, but I won't disparage a man for his Coast to Coast fan. Well. <laughs> Fine, then. I got that slept in uh, fucking hydraulic press beds. Is that channel still going, by the way? The, uh, the YouTube channel where they had the hydraulic press and they would put something in it and then all giggle and get 9 million views. Is that how you let people know you're rich, Tommy? With sex dungeons and mannequins? Because you can just buy hookers and blow. Or if you wanted to be classy, you can get escorts and cocaine, I guess. Uh, hold your pinky up when you're sorting that coke off a hooker's ass. That's how they know you're classy. All right, we're going to run past these banner snatches, and we're not going to get hit. And it's going to be amazing. And Carcinogen SDA is going to watch, and he's going to like, favorite, and subscribe. Guarantee it. It is so easy to dodge these fucking banner snatches. I guarantee that even the kids at home can do it. Look at this. Fucking frame perfect. Dodge. <laughs> we dropped down 11 viewers so quick. I like to think I enrich the mystery viewer's life, though. Because, I mean... The ten phase stream is not quite like other streams. Although to be fair, you have to have a high IQ to be a fan of ten phase. So. All right, we're done with our creepy fuck mansion adventure. I'm almost done being mad at video games, but I'm not quite there yet. We're going to take our handgun and go home. There we go. Claire, get that lighter out of your hand. People are going to think you smoke. You can post whatever you want, Mazmar. I don't give a shit. Especially if it's in shit posting. Then if nobody likes it, you can just pretend it was ironic. 
Uh. Yeah, Teague, this game... None of the Resident Evils are particularly hard. Uh, unless you impose challenges on yourself. But this one's pretty straightforward. Especially once I get start getting better weapons. Once I get the uh, custom handgun that, that triple shots. I'll be blat blatting, motherfuckers. Um, the silver key opens a room in here. I don't think about it. Son, you don't understand, cowboy. Just by subscribing to Tenfei, you've already passed. Son, it was the that was the initiation. That's so odd, Teague. <laughs> it's like you're going out of your way to blaze your own trail by playing RE Gaiden. Okay, we need the piano roll to play the piano to unlock a puzzle. We got a lot of goals. Short term, ooh, two green herbs. You know, that's a classy bar. You sit down to that bar. Also, I just realized that's a bar. How does anyone get in there? Is this the bar from Nighthawks? Uh, I guess this little section on the end lifts up. You'd be so confined. You'd be like Zorak to bring up Space Ghost. Oh, well, the guy that played Brack died. I mean, what's up, that? Son, a $15 Walmart headset, Maznar. I started the Tenfei channel with a shitty Dynex webcam pointed at my TV. Uh, we all have humble beginnings. And look at me now. I get dozens of views. <laughs> no, I don't even get dozens. I get like 48 views. I guess that counts as dozens. I get tr triples of views. I guess we'll bring the bow gun with us. Just in case we get into a dicey scenario and need to shoot some explosive bolts, it'll be our backup. It'll be our Huckleberry. There we go. That's a well managed inventory right there. I tell you what. I want to do randomizers, Tommy. There's a Resident Evil 2 randomizer that some cool kids on YouTube have streamed. But there's no, like, download link for it. You just have to know the guy that makes it and then and be jumped in. You have to be initiated. It's like eyes wide shut. You got to put a mask on and fuck Tom Cruise's wife and then he'll, he'll fucking let you have it. And, of course, there's the RE1 remake randomizer. I do want to get in on that. I think anyone's allowed to play that. You don't have to have papers and a pedigree to be allowed to play that one. Tombstone? What do you want on your tombstone? Pepperoni and mushroom. Jack joke of the year. I believe there's a bandersnatch in here. He might even be a Froomius bandersnatch. Which means I'm gonna shut. That's a fucking cheap ass fucking trick him right by that damn door. I, I hate banner snatches. I'm just not a fan. They should put all the banner snatches in a big fucking boat and sink it in the ocean. Let me fucking hang on bullets to take to kill one of you. Oh, I guess I was shooting two of them. I don't care if I have to sit here until the goddamn uh, heat death of the universe. I'm shooting you to death with this fucking gun. There. What am I in double danger? I'm in somewhat, somewhat orange caution. I'll take it. I could have used strategy and tactics, but in my defense, I was mad at video games. Oh, yeah, there's Hunk's report. He's like, it's a goddamn mess. So we get another one of these. Now we have one we could trade if somebody's got a Mewtwo or a Zapdos. 
that we want. Upper <laughs> team bandersnatch. That's a good joke. I didn't mean to go in this door. I apologize for wasting your all's time. Because I immediately have to turn around and leave. I used up my silver key. Alright, one of these damn uh, emblems could be used at the uh, guillotine region, I believe. So we'll head over there. After we head, hit up the item box for a shame heal. An anger-fueled shame heal. I like how all the trouble I've had with this game has been banner snatches. The zombies ain't shit. It's fine. I kill. I wake up in the morning and kill two or three zombies for fun. All right, we'll take you and you. We're gonna eat you. All right. I'll be right back, y'all. Y'all hang out here for just a moment. No, I missed Freya time. I've never regretted my actions more than right now. To miss Freya time is worse than death. If only I had typed BRB in the stream chat like a cool guy, you would have known. Done. Okay. I think we need to go beat this game real quick. Stop all the lollygagging. As long as you all enjoyed Freya time in my steed, it was all it was worth it, son. I'll live vicariously through y'all. <gasps> son, looks like the good times are finally back. <gasps> you did it. Cut to that meme picture of the clock. And it's like, good heavens, look at the time. And every every hour just has Freya time. Cut to me at a bar at 11 o'clock in the morning, drinking a fucking martini. They're like, man, you're, you're going at it already? No, wait, I did that joke wrong. Cut to me in a bar. <laughs> and I'm... I'm holding up a framed picture of Freya. And they're like, man, you're looking at Freya already? I'm like, son, it's Freya time somewhere. Then I drink a martini. There we go. Saved it. The mystery view. No, the mystery viewers left. <laughs> they couldn't handle it. You can't use a red herb by himself, son. Red herb. He's a team player. But he can't do much by himself. That's the problem with Red Herb. He never shines on his own. He's an enabler. How you doing, naked ass fucking zombie? I'm Claire Redfield and I got guns and shit. Like a certain police organization of a certain Californian city. I've got guns and shit. I gotta get to my boy Rodriguez. He needs hemostatic medicine. There we go. Is that what the blue lanterns do? 
All I know about the other colored lanterns is the red ones because there's a cat that's a red lantern. And I guess being a red lantern makes you angry. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm shrugging when I say that. All right, here you go. I'm gonna pump him full of hemostat. What are you doing here? Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. Oh, we've become the master of unlocking. I like how his plan is to just hang out down here. I don't blame him. Now get out of here. I think this is one of the few umbrella facilities. No, it does get blown up. I just remembered that you have to escape in the airplane because the place blows up. So if all the other lanterns have like weird attributes to, based on their colors, then what's special about the green lanterns? Other than the fact that they they make big hands with their rings and punch people with them. Cue that gif I always see of the Green Lantern from that one DC animated movie who's like sees Darkseid and he's like, I got this, and he flies up to him and Darkseid just cold cocks him and then a bunch of Darkseid minions come up and start dry humping him. Start fucking teabagging him. The DC animated universe is so much better than their cinematic universe. Willpower? What does that fucking mean? Are they like Mati with the power of heart? Look, the mystery viewer left because I was disparaging the Green Lantern. Zombies need bullets. Donate a bullet to a zombie today. For just five handgun bullets a day, you could shoot a zombie to death. And if it's already one, you might even get a crit headshot. Call today. You said you'd headshot a zombie to yesterday. I'll headshot a zombie today. You'll headshot a zombie now. I'll headshot a zombie now. Also, that's a complicated ass way to use the damn guillotine system. Oh, look, who thinks they're a cheeky cunt and was going to surprise old Claire Redfield. Little did they know that I was too busy trying to make a joke about a guillotine system. Graveyard fucking dead. Which movie is it where the Flash meets Green Lantern and Batman and they're like doing a thing and Flash is talking to Green Lantern. Green Lantern's like, hi, I'm the Green Lantern. And he's like, oh, and that's Batman. And Flash is like, Batman? He's real? And Green Lantern's like, yeah, he, he's over there. And then the Flash just runs past him and starts shaking Batman's hand. And Batman's like, you're a pretty cool guy, Flash. I'm gonna let you come home and fuck my sister. I'm gonna let you come home and fuck Selena Kyle, or Oracle, or Tush. Oh God, I forgot about Doctor Grabass. He's in here, and he's a cheeky cunt, son. He's dying for a malpractice suit because he can't stop grabbing asses. He's like the most powerful zombie in the game. I'm not even making this shit up for a change. For the first time in my life, I'm not making some stupid shit up. Spooky eyeball man. We have to make him so kawaii that he'll let us through. Oh, that body bag don't move. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I got a fucking super crit. It was the only thing that kept that zombie off of me because he had an adrenaline burst, son. Did you see it? Woo! There's a lot happening in this burning basement. Right, we're going to shoot this last bullet, and then we're going to stop. 
We're gonna lockpick this motherfucker. That's gonna get us the custom handgun parts. Which will let us do this. Boom. Oh, no free refill. Gee whiz. Now we got these motherfuckers on lockdown, son. They won't know whether we're coming or going. We'll put some of these fucking bullets out there. Might even go so far as to say we'll be bebopping and or a scatting through the game now. Player, sweetheart, did you make the slightest bit of effort to aim at these motherfuckers? You're making me look bad. You're losing mystery viewers, Claire. A red herb. Why, I think I will. Red herb's always hanging out in the corner, son. It's just like the fucking Blair Witch Project. I need to take that back to the place where it opens a door. <laughs> it's the best place for key cards. We're getting dramatic door opening because they know Dr. Grabass is in here, son. And he's fucking lubed up his hands and scrubbed them and got his rubber gloves on. He goes right for you, asshole. He would be the best proctologist. Maybe some gynecology on the side. If you're a gynecologist, you might as well be a proctologist as well, because if you're down there elbow deep in a vagina, you might as well dip into the asshole too. Make sure everything's okay. Make sure everything's kosher. All right. One explosive bolt should kill him, but he is a certified motherfucker. So let's see if we can get him before he gets us. Nope. I can't hit him because he's the ultimate zombie and knows how to fucking curve the bullet. Goddamn fucking wanted ass Angelina Jolie looking motherfucker. Not that I'm angry. Heaven forbid. I would never get mad at a video game and it's cheap fucking bullshit. I'm just saying the developers intentionally made him a motherfucker. A card carrying certified motherfucker. If you look on his wall where you think his diploma is, there's a certificate of motherfuckery that he was presented at Asshole University where he graduated as fucking summa cum laude. All right, let's make this fucking thing moe with its anime eyes and then we can open this door. <laughs> Tim, I read that as the uh, the kid from Troll 2. The like, he's killing them and then they're going to kill me, kid. I assume that's what you were going for. There are bats. I have no lighter. Cor Corbin, Corbin, my man, I, I have no fire. Ooh, I gotta get the broke one. There's so many healing items in here because they knew Dr. Grabass was gonna be out in full force, son. He's accepting all patients. There we go. I dead-eyed them motherfuckers. Like you read about in Dead Bats Weekly. You wouldn't think there'd be enough dead bats to have a weekly publication about it, but they manage. A lot of advertisements, though, in Dead Bats Weekly. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Claire Redfield, and I have a gun that shoots three bullets at a time, so I'll be shooting y'all to death this evening. Be sure to leave a Yelp review. She finally gets to use the little fold-out part that I talked about earlier. The custom parts just kind of put a stock on the damn thing. I feel like it could have been semi-auto by default. Uh, excuse me, sir. I believe I shot you to death. I know this is embarrassing for both of us. But I need you to be graveyard dead. I wonder what this weird device was used for. Their water meal down. What are they fucking grinding flour down here? We'll head down to the fuck basement. Son, the only thing worse than a fuck shed is the fuck basement. I would love a rusty broadsword, son. You know you're on a classy date when he offers to give you a rusty broadsword. People who have watched my Anyway the Wind Blows 
Breath of the Wild playthrough. You know what I'm talking about? All you TNFA true believers out there. All right, we're gonna shove this sword into this thing, and a zombie's gonna bust out of it. Which means they preemptively had a zombie to put in here for this puzzle. Either that or the outbreak happened and somebody was like, oh boy, an excuse to put a zombie in the Iron Maiden. Also, you can't use this as a weapon. You can't go Dante on the motherfuckers. Oh, so we frame perfect dodged his ass. And they put him in there with a roll for the player piano because logic. The game is riddled with ludonarrative dissonance, son. You wait till I get a job at Kotaku and Polygon writing clickbait. Be writing the most hateful articles about the ludonarrative dissonance of this game and how it promotes toxic gamer masculinity. You wait till I dye my hair half blue, half pink and get my big fucking black rim glasses and my own special pronoun, son. I'm gonna be all over this shit. Have I mentioned recently that we need to just go beat this game real quick? Just, you know. <laughs> just because we're in the neighborhood. I'm in the Umbrella Paris facility, so I figure since I'm in the neighborhood, I might as well beat the game. <laughs> Just one more bullet. Mephisto came and said if I gave him my marriage to Mary Jane Watson, that he'd give me one more bullet to shoot the zombie with. The most comics riddle discussion Tenfei video has ever been made. Good God, y'all just said like eight things in the stream chat. I assume you're angry at me. And you know what? I don't blame you. Are you angry about elves? <laughs> I am big enough to have two pronouns. I have to call my mom first and ask her if I can have that many, of course. All right, this gets us all the way back to where we made the fake uh, eagle medallion to get through that door. We've come full circle. There and back again, a Claire Redfield tale. All right, so we're going to store you here, and you here, and then you here. No, you here. The most important part of any Resident Evil game is making your inventory extra pretty. We can finally make some more explosive bolts. We can open this with our Rodriguez approved lockpick to get some bow gun powder. If only it was cheddar bow gun powder. I wish Tommy was still watching so he could talk about cheddar bow biscuits with me. Hashtag Bojangles. There we go. That's a banner snatch killing fucking weapon if I've ever heard of one. And I haven't. All right, we are absolutely riddled with fucking plot progression key items. Really? What about this ink ribbon that's right in front of it that you refuse to acknowledge, Claire? I told her. All right, we can come in here and grab these uh, damn grenade rounds now that we left here 100 years ago in the distant past. Before Aku, the evil was law. Man, they put some cheeky zombies in here. A cheeky little spot of zombies. Is he still alive? I saw you looking at him with your eyes, Claire. There ain't no way to hide your lying eyes. Earth Samurai Jack's uh, final season ended very terribly. They introduced some Do Not Steal OC waifu, and then Jack didn't even give a shit about Aku anymore. He became waifu man. He was another great samurai hero brought down by his waifu.
Oh, do you mean the guy that played him? Didn't he play Master Splinter as well at one point? Is it? But angry people on the internet told me that Samurai Jack ending was bad. And why would angry people on the internet lie? Doesn't he like slip on a banana peel and drop the sword off a cliff? And then he has to spend the rest of the series uh, beating fucking people to death with dildos and grows a beard. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not a huge Samurai Jack fan. I expect to lose any mystery viewers slash subscribers at that statement. I mean, it's a very pretty and artistic show, and I appreciate it for what it is, but I don't really care about it. Got a catchy theme song, I guess. It ain't a bad show, I reckon. It just stand to be like that good, you know. In for a penny, in for a pound, and all that. <laughs> You're doing a good job of selling Samurai Jack to me, son. I didn't know he rides a motorcycle and shoots people to death. That sounds like a hashtag good time. Good lord. Okay, we should be able to use this card key here and get it out of our damn inventory. Go back to the DJ Mouse room. Hey, dogs. How y'all doing? Son, I have no quarrels with you. I'm gonna let you sit down there and do your dog thing. Spike Lee's do the dog thing. Ah, the biohazard card. Or emblems card, excuse me. Thank you, game. For letting me know that. Are oh, you referencing Code Lyoko? Sir, do you know how dangerous that is? Those younger ones have such big foreheads, and they're so French. All right. I think this is a good place to end the first session of this stream. We accomplished a lot. We were bad at video games, yelled at bandersnatches, customized our handgun. So it's a good stopping point. I'll stream some more of this tomorrow, so look forward to it. Try to find a way to secretly watch it at work or school, because I'll be streaming more tomorrow. All right, later, y'all.